Yes, yeah, sir. Big Stewie checking in, man. Get what? Trap house booming. You know what I'm saying? I got the biggest. I got the. I got one of the baddest. You know what I'm saying? Young ladies in the whole wide world of, of America. You know what I'm saying? My girl Jessica Diamond in the building. What up, though? What it do? You know what it saying? do? My, my Memphis Connect, Sean. Hey, you already know what's going on. The queen in the building. Come on, now. What we talking about now? I, I, I'm hearing you got big things going on. You know what I'm saying? Like your own thing. Like only, only on now. That's TV. The Mint. Like Tim, what's going on? What's the Mint? Yeah, it's exclusive. We in our vault. We ain't in the bag no more. We in the vault. In the vault. Yeah, we in the vault. It's a big vault. Hey, come listen. on. With Big dope. Yeah, but it's my it's finally time. You know, we was kinda on there together. Right. And I feel like, you know, coming from off love and hip hop and everybody just like being like, where is she? What is she doing? It's time to like come out of my shell and like get back on TV. Right. Well, I'm so, back. so what was the reason for like you leaving love and hip hop? Like what was that? Uh, you know, it was a lot of things, I feel like, all together, but I feel like it was more so, I, I'm i all about respect, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm all about, like, moving forward and, like, I don't want to be in the same place the whole time I'm right. on TV. Like, I want to be able to move forward. I don't want to feel stagnant, and I feel like they, I feel like the production and, like, I'm not going to necessarily say Mona because I, I, I like Mona. Right. But I just feel like they had their picks. Right. Like of people they wanted to like go far and be in this and be in that and be known. But I feel like the people pick who they love and right. who they want. Facts. And the people pick me. Mm-hmm. They love me still to this day. I ain't been on TV in four or five years. My daughter mm-hmm. turning five years old Sunday. Mm-hmm. And and they still know me. They right. still love me. They still run up to me. They still know blessing my daughter. You know, so I just feel like at the end of the day, me leaving. Even was a, a me love and hip hop was a stepping stone, kind of oh, like no. how the strip club was right. for me. And I feel like I didn't get what I really just wanted out of it. I went in there thinking it's music. Right. I'm I'm a rapper. I want to rap. I want to do on, this. Man. But it had to be other stuff involved and intertwined in it. And I, I, I was there. So you you was there, yeah, you know, and then right. people look at it and they like, that's it. Yeah, one that's year. it. I don't, I don't like that. No, I don't mm-hmm. like that too much. Because like you you feel like, you know, I, people always be in a mind frame where I can change the situation. Right. I can do different. They're going to do different by me, but it's no, the they same gonna do what thing. They wanna do. Yeah, they're going to do what they want to do. So I just, I just caught on to that. You know, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for the opportunity that right. I got on Love and Hip Hop. But I wanted to move forward. I was starting a family. I was getting married on, and now. stuff like that. And my husband from Memphis, he was the same type of time I'm right. on. Right. But I just feel like I want to do it on my own platform. I got so much to give to people, like so much to say, so much to give, to, even to the girls that I'm bringing on to the women that I'm bringing on to the men. Mm-hmm. I want to give to them. I want to, like, pour what I have into them. Like, some of them might be way younger than me or younger than me, and I just want to, like, if it's something I can say or do to trigger them into a different path, I want to be a part of it. Right, facts. So, like, I mean, I think one of the good things is, like, with you is just, like, just your growth. You know what I'm saying? Like, even just coming from the strip club, like, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, and a lot of people might not even know, like, Black China is, is big for, for being Black China. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I knew Black China from then. I knew mm-hmm. you Me from too. back then. Mm-hmm. So for you to grow and to change the scenario, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Change your situation from yes. being in the strip club. That's different. Like, how was that process? What was your mind like? What was, what was your mind like? Like, changing? Um, my process was faith mm. in God. Because when I started rapping, I was in a club dancing. And mm. one of the security guards was like, damn. You ever thought about being a rapper? And I was like, well, I done had a friend that rapped before, and I used to help her with her stuff, and I always been able to write. My mama is an English teacher, like mm-hmm. a scholar English teacher. Mm-hmm. So I've always been able to write and put my thoughts down in a, in a good way. And when he came up to me about it, I was like, hmm. He was like, all you do is rap the song. You pick the best songs to dance off of. You make money without hardly even doing nothing. You should try to rap. And I went to the studio and did it, and I loved it. It's just, It was just, I fell in love with it music and, and being in the studio and coming up with my own thoughts and picking out beats I'm in love with it mm. like I love to do that I love TV too but music is my first love right. as far as industry wise Come on now. and I just feel like when I, I started rapping it was three months and then Flo Rida hit me up and was like I want to sign you mm. And I was like, okay. And I started going to his studio, working, and it was free because it's his studio, right. so I could go every day. I went every day, mm. every day, all day. They wouldn't even be in there. I'd still be there. And I just kept working and working and working and working, and I just feel like I really want to do this. And when they came to me, it was like, we really want to sign you. We're seeing you working. We're doing this, but you got to hang up your stripper shoes. Mm. You got to hang up your dancer shoes. Mm. You can't put, dance put no more. Put up, huh? 
had to put them clear heels up, <laughs> them <laughs> platforms on, looking Come good. On, I couldn't do it because they, I guess they felt they saw better for me in the long run. Maybe something that I didn't necessarily see for myself. And I'm at King of Diamonds in the prime. Come on now. Jay. I remember King of Diamonds now. In the prime. Cause every, it's King of Diamonds out of London, but it ain't nothing like King of Diamonds in Miami. <laughs> nothing. It ain't, it can't don't be even get food like can't that. Can't get duplicated at all. <laughs> don't get what they call bamboo. Come on. <laughs> don't do it. Because it's nothing like that. Come one. on, man. Listen, so coming from making that type of money on a regular basis, I'm not going to act like every night was amazing. Right. But it was more good than bad. Right. And it was good. Right. So I was like, dang, I got to really give up all this to rap? I don't know. <laughs> but I said, you know what? I'm going to step out on faith and I'm going I'm to take my chances and I'm going to do it. That's why I can't let it go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I stopped doing everything I was doing and I really stepped out on this. I'm going I'm to make the most of it. Come on. And, you, and you're doing it. I'm doing so it. So look, you got an audition for your show. Mm-hmm. So what, how, what, what's this show? What's, what's the myth? I'm so excited about this. I'm so grateful. I just want to shout out now this TV. Like, I want to shout out now this TV for the platform. This is a black-owned company. T. Lou. Shout out to T. Lou. This is amazing. They gave me the opportunity to, like, once I told him the idea, it was like he was, they were on board from there. Shout out to Anaya, everybody over there, the whole squad. I love y'all because y'all, I said it the first day we met, I told them the idea of the show. And it's been on since then. Mm. And the Mint is basically, you know, I get a lot of different names called. They call me Diamond and they call me <laughs> this and that. My name is not Diamond. It's Dime, Jessica Dime. It was Dime Peace first when mm. I was a dancer. And then when I started doing videos and stuff like that, my homeboy K-Rock, he actually worked at the King of Diamonds here shout now. K-Rock. Yeah, shout out to K-Rock. He, he said, put your real name in front of and just leave the dime Jessica Dime and I was like hmm it sounds kind of good can't write me know what you're talking about 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 about. (laughs) so when I went with that I want people to know it's dime like the 10 the the top 10 come on 10 come on so I said I'm sending a studio session and we were coming up for names for my album shout out to Queen we were coming up with names for my album and I said, where is, they was like, diamonds, diamonds. I said, I'm not a diamond, no, I'm a dime. Where are dimes made? And then we was like, the men. Mm, the okay, U.S. Now. Men. All right. now, I'm, now I'm in tune now. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. Okay. I, I, I rock with that. Okay, so what is the show about? The, the show is about making another dime. Mm. And I know it's only one me and stuff like that, but I mean the aesthetic of it. Me leaving the club behind to step out on faith and and follow my dreams of what I really wanted to do. That's what I want to create. Right. I want to get girls that's currently exotic dancers in the club mm-hmm. that are working toward getting out of the club. Mm. Not necessarily, not staying in the club. Mm. It's not nothing like you ever seen before. Mm. It's out of the club. Now, we still going to go in the club, and, and I want to see what they made of in that lifestyle mm. because that makes, I don't want, I want to see what you doing at work. Right. Where you come from? Are you really a hustler? Or are you just around oh, you here? Yeah, it's not doing that. All I, I, night I long. I seen some of y'all out there magic. Drinking was, drinks. Come on now. <laughs> I didn't see some of y'all there magic just sitting on your head. Let's call them out, Jay. Come on now. How you, how you, you can't be the stripper and be broke now. That nah, don't make no sense. You just stripping. Come on now. You Look. showing ass and titties and you broke. That don't make no sense. What you doing it for? So we got to get to the bottom of Come it. Come on now. You know, so I want to get to the bottom of it and I want to get them on the right path to get out of the club. Come on now. It's not about continuing to dance. Even though I'm not knocking dancers, ain't nothing it's wrong with dancing. It's, like it's a stepping else. stone. It's, it, exactly. It's just like everything else. Some people might want to be dancers the, their whole life, right. but. I don't know. I don't think the average woman wants to be a dancer. I, I've, I've, I should. We could do a poll. Let's yeah, do a poll. Yeah, because I've been in the strip club. I say I, like since I got to Atlanta, eighteen years. So I seen the turnaround. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, they get tired. They get tired. They get tired. I probably met I one stripper tired. that wanted to be. I, I just like stripping. I wanted to strip till I'm eighty. But everybody else, they like hell no. Hell no. They kind of want to stop in their thirties. You know, stuff like that. Maybe before that, really. However, they so, take so let, it. So let me ask you a question, like. You being an OG mm-hmm. and, and being a dancer, like, do you think, and this is, I want to ask you this real question. Let me look at do you, you think that men can really take a woman that dances serious if they're trying to make them their wife? I'm married. I know that, but you ain't dancing in a long time either. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's true. So that's you retired. True. So it ain't like you, you saying why you in the club. Why you in the club? Oh. 
That's a hard one. I don't think. I don't think so. Mm, don't I'm think just so gonna be honest. Yeah. I don't think so because it's such a taboo where it's a situation where you in that club. Like, why are you even marrying me if I'm still in here? Mm-hmm. Why do I if, if I still gotta be in here? Right. Why can't we be outside of here? Maybe starting a business together, or trying to figure it out outside of here. So mm-hmm. I'm not because at the end of the day, no matter what a woman says, being a dancer is kind of uncomfortable. Mm. You know, at the end of the day, it, it's some places you don't have to get naked or nothing, at, which is fine. But you still got to stand there and dance and pose for another man and you're married. Mm. I do that to a certain extent if I'm performing it on a stage. That ain't the same. It ain't the same that thing, the same, though. Because there ain't nobody touching you. Ain't nobody touching so me. You can show whatever the hell you want on the stage. I ain't got to bust it open Come wide on open. Come on now. Come it's on now. different. You ain't got to grind no laps. Exactly. And it's creeps in the strip club now. Yeah. There's some, free, some freaks. Some freaks yeah, free there's some freaks in there. And it depends on what kind you in. It's mm-hmm. different kind of strip clubs. You got to just stand up there and twerk, but it's some you sitting on them laps grinding. Come on. Come on. So man. it's, di- I, I think it is, It I think it's, it's going to be hard for a man to marry you mm. in the club. Got to put that in the show. Have to. Got to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. So new music, what you been working on? Oh God, my album actually was called The Mint. Mm. I was calling the album The Mint. And then when, when when I linked up with Now This TV and I thought of the show idea, I was like, that's The Mint too, really. Right. You know, because we making dimes. It's the making the mold. And I also feel like, too, Jay, I feel like, I have been the making the mold for a few girls here and there. I'm mm-hmm. not going to act like I've been just like this big, right. you know, whatever. But I feel like a lot of them have watched me and seen me move through here. Ain't nothing wrong and with that, though. And, like, ain't nothing, ain't nothing and I've watched. I've watched. And I'm watching younger girls now. Right. I love the girls coming up. So I just feel like I've been the making the mold to a lot of stuff, especially girls coming out of Memphis. Come on now. So I, I just, I, that's the mint. I ain't mad about that's that. That's the mint. It's going down. <laughs> Only on now that's TV. And new music is going to be new music on the mint for me. Come on now. So it's the album and it's actually like a soundtrack to, I'm adding the soundtrack to the show. Mm. So you'll hear all my new music from the album on the show. I'll be doing all of the music, all of that. Come on now. So I got creative control. I'm so happy about Congratulations. it. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Like, thank you. God good. I'm proud God, of you God too. Good. Look at all. Is. Come on, God good. Like, you keep something going man, on. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you, you know we're going to get some money. Yeah. We ain't going to do nothing. We're going to get some money. going to get some money. Yeah, at the mint. Yeah, at the okay, mint. It's definitely <laughs> going down, man. <laughs> Jessica Diamonds in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Trap house booming. <laughs> the mint is coming only on Now That's TV. Yeah, I make sure y'all get that. And we got a whole lot of things going on. Yes. You know what I'm saying? As far as with Now That's TV. So mm-hmm. y'all stay tuned in. Big and student. we're on it Sunday. Come on, stop playing. April 23rd. I'll be there. Special guest judges. Yes, Lord. I want you to tell me what you think about these girls. I'm going to be there. Okay, Okay, with my, in my best gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lemon pepper steppers, you hear me? And is. Yeah, shop <laughs> <I was> booming. <laughs> hey.